Tasmania has hit an unwanted milestone, ticking over to 100,000 COVID cases since the pandemic began. COVID-19 is more prevalent in the community now than it's ever been. In Tasmania, if we were a country, we would be ranked at least fourth highest in the world. So what does it all mean for you and I? Launceston mother Rachel Davis is living life in lockdown with help from her two teenagers. I've got my evening meal that gets delivered on this awesome little container. She's among tens of thousands of Tasmanians who've now experienced a coronavirus infection. Very lethargic and headaches. Oh, the worst headaches I've ever had, just constantly there. Um, a very sore throat, like it actually you didn't want to talk. It was like swallowing razor blades. According to Public Health, Tasmania has one of the highest rates of COVID-19 cases per capita in Australia. After reporting 2,408 new infections, there are 12,720 active cases in the state. Nearly one in five Tasmanians have been infected with COVID, have been put at risk of uh, long COVID and serious long-term health complications. National modelling shows COVID cases may peak in the next week or two before they start to come down. It's prompted calls for a circuit breaker to stop the spread in schools. An extension to the holidays with Easter, there's a good opportunity to take an extra two or three days off to really try and make sure we can get things sorted for the upcoming term. But the health department has already ruled it out. An epidemiologist says the higher rate of infection in the community now could actually be of some benefit to Tasmanians over the winter months. If you're vaccinated and you get a mild infection, because it probably gives you longer immunity than even getting a booster. There's some data, data out of Qatar that shows people who were double vaccinated and then a natural infection in fact had better antibody levels and protection than those who got a booster. With COVID cases expected to get worse before they get better, Tasmanians are being urged to stay vigilant and socialise safely. Liz Gwynn, ABC News.